Hey guys, do you ever have a Game Boy game that you have that has a battery back saved so you know eventually it will die out and you want to be able to play on your computer? Well, you can. Um, in the past, it's been pretty expensive. You had to find some hardware. It's extremely hard to find. And um, you had to help. You had like serial ports on your computer and stuff. And now I'm going to be showing you a USB option using the um, GB USB smart card. This is no by, by no means an original method. This thing has been used for backing up games before. Unfortunately, the way they used to do it is using a max memory card. That would run you about $40 by itself. So or 50 so this $40 thing plus that, that will bring you, bring you about $80. Turns out you can actually use a much cheaper backup alternative called the Monster Ring. This is only about $10, or even less if you buy it from somewhere about like Amazon Prime shipping. So um, if you get one of these and one of these together, you have an under $50 backup option. So I bought this. This actually cost me $42 from the person I bought it from, but basically it depends on where you buy it and depends on the price. But you can find this entire combo by getting both of these for under fifty dollars so first thing we're going to do is load up our game in the monster brain as you probably remember from my last video the monster brain allows you to back up your save files so we're going to back it up and then we're going to store it to this usb flash cartridge all right so as you probably remember this if you saw my last video but here's the menu once you boot up a game with the monster brain it'll give you a bunch of options we're going to use the memory option from here we just simply click backup And now we just give it a name. We can call it Mario if we wanted, but I don't have that much time. So I'm just going to call it Mar. Where is the cursor? There we go. Mar. Scroll down to the bottom for begin backup. And it will compress your save files. It takes up less space. All right. And now we, all we got to do is restore it. So we're going to remove this cartridge. And we put in our GB Smart Card. Let's go ahead and slide it in there. All right, and then just slide that into our Game Boy. Power it up. And do the exact same thing, except this time we're going to use the Restore option. So Restore is the second one on the list. And we have Mar should be at the very bottom. There we go, so make sure it says Restore again. You don't want to overwrite it. Mar, it says Restoring Game. And then we're done. Our save file is backed up on a flash cartridge. Now the last step is to put this um, save file from the flash cartridge on our computer using the USB port. This is part's a little bit harder because in order to do this, you need to have specific drivers installed. And if you're running Windows 10, uh, you're probably going to have a hard time installing the drivers. I will probably have a full setup later, but for now I'm just going to show it to you using Windows XP in an emulator or in a virtual computer. So I forgot to mention this before, but I did have something on screen saying that you have to have at least one game in your flash cartridge in order for it to work. So, and it has to be exactly one game actually. So if you want to actually be able to use the backup thing, you have to have one game flash to it. As you can see here, I have Mario Land 2 flash to it. Uh, it doesn't have to be your specific game. It can be any game. All you have to do is just flash the game to the device. Then you'll be able to use the backup of the monster ring. Once you have it backed up, just go ahead and run this program again. And you'll see this thing here. Um, so as you can see here, I'm running Windows XP inside of Windows 10. So what I'm going to do is plug in the EMS flash cartridge. And there we go. As you can hear, it is plugged into the Windows XP machine. And it popped up. So it sees, says we have Mario Land 2 installed. So let's go ahead and read the save file from it. That's what this button's for. And we're just going to store it here. You can give it any name you want. We'll just call it Mario 2. And we'll let it read. All right, now that's successfully read. And now we're going to bring in, so as you can see here, now we have a Mario 2 save right here. And here's our ROM for Super Mario Land 2. So we go ahead and boot that up. Now we do file, import, battery file. And that will let us import this file right here. So once we import it, it says it's going to reset the emulator and erase the save file. That's fine. That means the save file in this current emulation. And it's importing our um, save file that we just created. So there we go. This is exactly where we were before. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and close it. Each time we load up the game, we won't have to do any imports. There we go. And we're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.